Kelly and today I am going to show you how to make one of my favorite healthy summer treats chocolate zucchini bread. Now this chocolate zucchini bread is a little extra awesome because it is made in a blender which means it is super simple to make and cleanup is a breeze. Plus it is so delicious. It's also grain free so it's perfect for those on a gluten free or a grain free diet or for those who are just trying to eat a little healthier. So let's get started. To get started, just add 12 pitted dried dates to your blender. Add in one medium zucchini that's been cut in half and the seeds scraped out with a spoon. Add in four large eggs. One fourth cup butter ghee, or for dairy allergies, use refined coconut oil. And one teaspoon vanilla extract. Now all you have to do is blend it for about 30 seconds until everything is super smooth. Once it's smooth, add in one half cup coconut flour. One fourth cup unsweetened cocoa powder or raw cacao powder. One teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of sea salt. And then blend that up until it's nice and smooth. Once it's a smooth, thick batter, all you have to do is pour it into a well greased or a parchment lined regular size loaf pan. Now that you have the batter all into your loaf pan, you can bake it just like this and it's super delicious, but I like to have a little fun and add some toppings. I'll tell you some of my favorite toppings, but you can use your imagination and add anything you like. I use coconut chips and raw pumpkin seeds. These get lightly toasted in the oven and it's so good. Now I'm a huge chocolate lover, so I never miss a good opportunity to add even more chocolate. So I'm adding just a sprinkle of mini chocolate chips. Now that I've added my toppings, I'm just gonna pop this in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 to 50 minutes. So I just pulled this chocolate zucchini bread out of the oven and how good does it look? I wish you could smell it, it smells so good. Wasn't that so easy? I think you are going to love this recipe. I can't wait for you to try it. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.